So this is a copy of my Canvas page for a Year 11 IB Maths class. It's a standard level class. In talking to the boys, um, what they were after was a reminder of all the content that's been covered in class that wasn't merely a replication of their notes or their textbook. So what we decided to do was to set up a page for each of the main topics that have been covered to date. And one of the first topics that we covered related to functions. So what you'll notice here is that the page has a lot of very basic definitions that the boys need to remember, but also there's a lot of YouTube clips deliberately placed there to remind them of the content that has been covered. Um, if you take into account that the IB Maths course is in fact a two-year course, their exam will come the vertical line test tells us right that after vertical line the content has been covered. And the graph does not and represent so these are the just meant to be reminders so of some of the basic graph, things that they need to and know. We'll put in a vertical line anyway. So you'll see that we have um, a similar setup for all the pages there. If we move on to matrices, the setup again is very similar. A lot of basic definitions and moving on to some YouTube clips for reminders of the basic techniques that they need to remember. We've also attempted a number of online assignments. So if we come over to the left-hand side here and navigate to our assignments page. And so we've attempted um, three assignments altogether. And the one we're going to have a look at here at the moment is matrix binomials. In the IB Diploma Program, in the Maths course, the boys are required to complete what's called a portfolio task, which is an open-ended investigation. And so this was their first attempt at one of those tasks. The boys were required to complete uh, the assignment as a Word document uh, using Maths Type or Equation Editor, whichever they had available. And here is the submission of one of the students, and he's written down here, here is my assignment, Miss Shea. However, the discussion is a bit vague and short as I had little idea about what to talk about. And that's a fair comment given that this was their first attempt at one of these open-ended tasks. The IBO actually supplies a rubric uh, for all of these portfolio tasks in maths. And so it was very simple for me to go through and use the speed grader to actually allocate the, mas the marks for each of the criteria for this particular task. And if you have a look here, you can see that his comment was actually quite true. He's only received one out of three there for communication because the student did attempt to provide some explanation but not as much complete and coherent explanation as he needed to in order to get full marks for that particular task.